Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the more explosive portion of rocket science. To start off with, you're going to want a laser rangefinder, and I'll show you how that works in just a second. It's a great tool for figuring out exactly where you want in your missile to land. Now, in order to make a missile, you're going to need a booster module that takes six pieces of refined iron and either biofuel cells or coal fuel cells. It doesn't matter. You'll still get two booster modules each. Then you can combine it with a warhead of several different kinds. You've got a block of TNT and three refined iron. You've got a lava cell and the iron. You've got a nuke and the iron. There is also an improved nuke by combining the nuclear warhead with two tritium and two deuterium cells. This thing provides one hell of a boom. And I'll demonstrate how those work here in a minute. We're going to sit this sucker off. Now, in order to observe that, I'm going to create what's called a passenger rocket. To create a passenger rocket, you need a parachute, which is three pieces of leather and three pieces of string. Then attach that those three that parachute to your mine carts, and then the mine cart to the booster module. And that will get you a rocket that you can then use to follow or travel or all kinds of fun stuff. However, there is an improved version. This one is called the Ion Drive. It uses an energy crystal, an advanced circuit, some glowstone, and six advanced alloys. This particular rocket is reusable. So if you then combine the Ion Drive with your passenger module, you get a discharged passenger rocket. So what you then do is you charge the passenger rocket in any power storage device. It's an instantaneous, and it takes 50,000 units of energy. Now I can put this rocket on the ground anywhere, and if I left click on it, I can tell it exactly where I want it to go. So for instance, we're going to want to go about a hundred blocks in this direction in order to see what happens to the nuclear rocket, who is currently set to go, oh, uh, we'll send him out to 200, just to be safe. All right, let's set this guy off. And yes, I used the triple lock and gate system because this is a frickin' nuke! Oh my word, does it do damage! And we'll give him a minute to do his thing. He'll blow up here in a second. Now, as for the laser rangefinder, what you're gonna wanna do is you... If I were to put my missile here, for instance, and then jump on top of the missile... So I'm on the exact same chunk, and say I wanted to hit over there. One right click... Ooh, that was fun. And it tells me exactly the X and the Y I need to put into the missile in order for it to hit that particular structure. I have got that plugged in here. 13X, 98Y, or no, I'm sorry, 98Z. I don't know why it says Y there. And so when this is launched, these three missiles should impact on that tower. And we'll get into that in a minute as soon as we go over the defense system. For now, let's go see what that nuke did. Wow, that's quite the explosion. Let's get a closer look. Also, when you land, you will receive a reusable passenger rocket at half charge, meaning that you can use the ion rocket in order to make a return trip before it is completely depleted, making it a very useful transportation device, especially if you need to go over long dis distances. This has a very interesting explosion radius, the thermonuclear warhead. Mmm, that's a nice big crater, though. I would not want to be the, on the receiving end of that. Alright, so about 150 should take me pretty close back to my destination. Perfect. And now that I've landed, I've received back my discharged rocket, another 50,000 units of energy inside of any power storage device, and I'm good to go again. Oh, that's nice. Next, we've got our laser defense systems. Now, you are going to need to provide power to pretty much everything in here. But to start out, you're going to need a radar dish. And that's what this thing is here. The radar dish is created with three refined iron, a frequency transmitter, and a machine block. Now, the radar dish scans an area of 50 blocks around where the radar dish is currently sitting and then sends a signal off to a receiver block, specifically the missile defense system. The missile defense system is an advanced circuit, an electronic circuit, a machine block, a couple of bits of redstone, and some glass panes. Uh, do not forget the advanced circuit and the electronic circuit because switching them creates a totally different block. 
the control block, which is this one right here, needs to have a clear connection line to both radar dishes and the laser defense systems. It must be this way, or it cannot communicate with them and send them the signals and therefore ha target a particular missile that it received the signal from the radar dish. Also, they need power. Next, we've got the missile defense laser itself. That is an energy crystal, an advanced circuit, an advanced machine block, a couple of advanced alloy, and some glowstone dust. They have approximately a 25% chance to miss every time they fire, and it takes 100,000 energy every time that they fire. Now, if I right-click over here, you can see that I've got two radar dishes set up, four online lasers, and zero offline lasers. Every time one of these fires, it's going to become an offline laser until it refills its 100,000 charge. And depending on how much you've power you got hooked up to it, it could take a little while. We've also got the one targeting system here. That is this block over here, which is the one made with the reversed pattern of the advanced circuit and the electronic circuit. The nice thing about the targeting system is that you can then use wires and hook them up to pretty much as many missiles as you want. And the X and Y coordinates that you have plugged into it will direct exactly where these missiles land. Now, as you can see, I've got another missile over there, and he's been programmed to land somewhere around, oh, here. So, let's turn him on and see the missile defense system in action. Away he goes. Missile intercepted. <laughs> and you can see the uh, return to sender missiles have launched. They should land right over there in just a moment. Wait for it. Boom! <laughs> now isn't this just a fun little mod? 